in this problem you have two wires this wire and these two are connected the diameter for this wire is one millimeter and this is two millimeter but both the wires are made of the same material the current is two ampere which enters on the and onto this side and the drift velocity is given which is Vd and you have to find out what is the drift velocity of the electron into this wire so the current and the relationship between the, the current and the, the drift velocity is given by n a q v d all right the n is the electron density the number of electrons per unit volume a is the cross-sectional area the q is the charge and the vd is the drift velocity as the same current flows through both the wires i can write down this one as also n a because these two are made of the same material n would be the same a prime q and the vd prime you see this is for the the left wire left and this is for the right wire As, to, as these two are made of the same material, N would be the same because this is material dependent. The Q is the charge carrier. As the same electron is flowing, the charge carrier in both cases is the same. The drift velocity could be the different. So now let's solve this one. I'm using these two equations to solve now. So the VD prime which is the drift velocity into this material this one this one's cancelled out this q will be cancelled out will be simply equal to a over vd times a prime a is the cross-sectional area the cross-sectional area is pi d square over 4 times vd and in this case this is pi d prime square over 4. The diameter of this wire is 2 millimeter and this is 1 millimeter. So the diameter of the pi and pi cancels out, 4 and 4 cancels out. The diameter is 1 millimeter, so I'm just using 1 millimeter, 1 square, and this is 2 square. So this would be VD divided by 4. So the trip velocity of the electron in this case in this case would be four times smaller than uh, the smaller one. 